Congratulations, you didn't kill Allie. Were you happy to hear that news? I mean, honestly, no, I was super bummed. I was like, I, you know, for me, anything when Spencer goes off the rails is like the most exciting part of the season for me. And so I was like, come on, guys. I know, I know Spencer has to be like one of the good people and like she can't kill Allie. But I was like, she didn't kill Allie. Obviously, Allie's still alive and we know this. So maybe she tried to. Can we please make her try to? And they're like, no. So I was like, fine, cool. So then in that scene when they... Totally. Yeah. I'd like, I'd love to play a villain. And that's why when, you know, when they're like, you didn't kill Allie, yay. I was like, yeah, guys, yay. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> um, what can you tell us about this season for Spencer and Toby? I know the fans are really invested in that relationship. They had a really rough go at it the last season. Um, what can you tease for the fans? Um, I can definitely tease that we, I just came from a Toby and Spencer scene today. Um, and, uh, are you going back to it? And which way are you going? that I can follow you. <laughs> uh, no, sadly, Keegan Allen has left the set. Oh, okay. Keegan, the Keegan gets to go have his own day. Um, <laughs> he's done with Toby for the day. But um, uh, yeah, it's funny. I totally, I totally forgot that Spencer and Toby were like separated and not doing too well. Yeah. And then so for all the press for the end of season four, I was like, I was like, yeah, Spoby's great. And like, blah, blah, blah. And then like eventually somebody was like, you do know that you guys are on the rocks. And I was like, Oh my god, right, because we were already shooting other stuff, so. Right, right, right. You know, Spencer and Toby, they're always, they're very passionate people, they're also very bizarre people, and that's why they fit together, so they're always going to kind of, like, be right on the same line with each other, and be, like, you know, side by side, and then and then he's going to leave town, and she's going to get mad, and then they're going to crisscross again, and that's what always happens. The show, I mean, the audience, is they're so devoted, the fans are so devoted, the ratings are better than ever. How it's much crazy. longer do you see the show going? Do you think about those things? Totally. <laughs> yes. I, yeah, pretty much like all the time. Um, no, just um, just because I'm I'm very very aware that it's a very uh, we're very lucky, and I know that that goes away like that, you know, and and um and as as bizarre as it can be to sometimes not be able to like go to a very populated place without getting recognized, I conscious I'm like very very conscious of the fact that like. I'm like, well, everybody's recognizing you now, and just imagine what it's like when, like, in a year or two when the show's off the air, and everybody's, like, kind of like, oh, maybe that's that chick from, I don't really care. You know, so it's, um, I'm always thinking about that, and definitely feel very grateful for the fan following, and, uh, I think that we are definitely, we shot more Pretty Little Liars than we are going to. Mm -hmm. I know that we are closing in on the end, um, which is really exciting, because it means, finally, the answers and the mythology and what people are going to, what they've been waiting for years and years to find out. So season 10, not going to happen. <sighs> crushing my dreams Oh, right am I now. crushing your dreams? Yes. I don't want to be 35 in high school. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be a 35-year-old high school student? Sure, wrong with you? Maybe not so much. <laughs> I've been in high school since high school. <laughs> Leave us with some great tease for season five. Just tell me what fans can expect and what they should be excited about for this year. Ooh, well, I think that the the coolest thing about season five is that the fans get to see Allie not just in a flashback, but in the flesh. Mm -hmm. And gets and the craziest part is when Allie comes back to Rosewood, she tries to take up her life again. Um, and that's sort of impossible. It's been right. two years since she left. And the girls, you know, who she once had completely under her thumb and kind of played around with as her dolls are now young women. Mm -hmm who have dealt with a lot and who know how to take care of themselves and each other. And so all of a sudden there's this strange dynamic of, you know, we're calling it like the fifth PLL, which is, um, you know, how does she fit in? Where does she fit in? How do we make a new friendship? And is that even possible?